Bill here with the Metals Minute. Today is Wednesday, October 26, 2022. Well, it's been a good week, uh, an up week for the most part for all four of the metals. Uh, the fourth one being palladium. It was on the way up. It was flat earlier today. All the uh, information's in the write-up, but we have silver up over 5% in the last week. Gold's up uh, close to 2 and and uh, platinum is up around 4 I believe three or four percent. One of the reasons why, and we have been talking about this for, oh, maybe a last uh, month or two, is we've seen the dollar be strong internationally on the international scene. And that caused uh, gold and silver prices, especially gold, to be at or near all-time highs in local currencies overseas. At the same time, it's not been at an all-time high in the dollar, as expressed in the dollar. And that's because uh, overseas, people need gold as a hedge when the dollar is strong. Here in the United States, we need gold as a hedge for when the dollar gets weak. And that is, right now, it's beginning to roll over. So the last uh, few days, it's kind of... Uh, hesitated a little bit and started to come back down. Now we have a long way to go to get back to an average uh, dollar strength, as it were. So there's, there's still time to catch uh, the train on this uh, as the dollar comes back to normal, uh, or what historically has been uh, seen as normal. Uh, so, but that's one of the reasons why we see the dollar strength we also need to understand that between now and the midterm election, which is coming up uh, in less than two weeks, we're going to see a lot of window dressing and a lot of contrary information about the economy. So there's some calling for a, you know, that the stock market is just going to do great from here and it's time to jump in. Uh, I would just be cautious about that. And uh, I believe that the current high demand for physical precious metals is warranted and um, I, I do believe that we should be careful in this environment. What we have to look at is not the hype and the hoopla that, that we hear sometimes uh, around election time. What we have to look at, and that's not, uh, I'm not throwing any party under the bus there, that's just often how it is regardless of, of uh, who's running or what's going on. Around election time, we're going to hear a lot of uh, seemingly completely opposite stories about uh, the economy, about a lot of things. So what we have to do is look at the underlying conditions. And when we do that, there's some causes for alarm. Uh, the National Home Price Index, is one example, started the year at a plus 25.6%. In other words, the three-month annualized growth rate for the increase in house prices nationally was over 25 percent and back in uh, the start of the year. As of the end of August it was minus 4.3 percent. That's quite a divergence there from plus 25 to minus 4. Uh, but that was prior to mortgage rates being over 7% in August. So it's very likely we'll see continued uh, pain in that area of real estate. And keep in mind, not every area of the country is responding the same way. Some areas won't go down that much, but they never went up that much. It's been more stable in a lot of areas. Other areas, it was even more extreme. So that's something to keep an eye on. Another thing that leads into inflation is the prices of fuel. And right now there are many saying that we have fewer than 25, uh, a 25 days supply of diesel on hand. And that's one of the reasons we see, you know, at least in our area, gas came down to 350 or so a gallon, but diesel is still at over $5. And that's one reason, as we've been shipping diesel over to Europe, uh, what we used to have available in our own market, we've been shipping overseas. 
And so there's a shortage there. But also now we see the gasoline futures are ticking back up. Since the low in September, they're up 25%, and in October alone, they're up 17%. And so when we see the prices of fuel going up like that, it indicates that we may have a more long-term issue with inflation going on uh, than what we really want. And some of that uh, issue, and I think they're starting to do some of this math in Washington, starting to realize that we're not on a sustainable path. And that might be one reason why the dollar's beginning to come back down to earth. And as it does, it's going to just boost the metals prices for those of us that live in a dollar world. So I encourage you to continue to, to uh, stack metal if you can. I believe it's going to pay off for all of us in the long run. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.